everyone good morning welcome back to another video so in today's video we are building a diy bed so a couple of days ago somebody gave us a bed it's king size bed came out of somebody's guest room now they didn't have any guests they didn't smoke they didn't do any pets or anything so it's a clean perfectly usable bed the only problem is as you can see the box is sitting down on the ground with no frame we don't have a frame so we, we bought, bought a bunch of lumber right here in the van and it's about to be cut into a frame now what oz is doing is he's measuring and trying to see how we're going to fit this bed into the room my husband he's building this bed on the fly he has a general idea in his head now, I don't know how this frame is going to turn out, but I can guarantee the next hurricane Florida has, people will be hiding underneath it because, or using it as a boat because it is not going anywhere. Cut dimensions. That's our cut dimensions. Okay, now we're gonna go cut it. What do you think about that? I think you just built yourself a third arm. Well, I wish it was a third arm, but. What are you filming? You're not with the story. I'm with the chickens outside. Good job. Yeah. That's going to get you a very good video. <laughs> That are cat proof. Yes, our cat, our cat can't run under the bed now. What we need to do, figure out the exact width of the bed so we can mount it properly. For that, the best way to do that would be to put this 
box springs on top of the bed or the bed frame. The problem is the bed frame is not going to stand by its own yet, so we're going to have to help it stand. So, what are we going to do? Best we can do the good old barbarian way. Just put stuff on the floor and put the box on top. Marked, let's go cut them. Okay, now we have all of them cut, let's put it together. So right now, the bed is in the way because I need to put the frame together, obviously. I can do it only as a frame. But this thing needs to go bye bye. And since this piece is long enough for two, then we're gonna mark this as the one we're using. This is going to the trash, and somewhere over here is gonna be the second mark. Now we got everything cut, and let's put it together. So now since we got everything squared and leveled pretty much, it's time to mount the headboard. Now as I said I'm trying to do this with as less connections as possible. So what I'm going to be doing is pretty much duplicating this idea here but for the headboard with a much larger corner piece. Instead of having the corner piece very short it's going to be much longer so the headboard can mount onto these. And that is going to go right there in the corner. The idea is that this piece is going to be mounted to these two pieces. And as you can see, it's going to mount just like that with a screw coming from there to hold it into place to the rest of the bed. Now this and this is going to be permanently mounted to each other. The only screw that's going to go is just one from this side into this to hold it to the bed. So, this is going to be a little tricky 
because a mark is on the inside, the way to do this would be place a clamp on the mark and then flip it and then put a screw through it. The other problem is I got nothing holding my frame together, so I'm gonna put a block on there, or actually two blocks, to hold everything in place. Hi guys, so if you made it this far into the video, that means you enjoyed the video and I did my job keeping you entertained. Now, I do enjoy making these videos, they're lots of fun to film and edit, however, they're not easy to film and edit. So, if you want me to continue making videos, please show me your support by hitting the like button. If you like my content, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to see new videos, and of course, if you really like my channel and you want to help it grow, share the video with as many people as you want. And let's get back to it. Thank you very much, have fun watching, and have a beautiful day. This is a different day, about two months later, well, here's how it goes. I don't usually film videos, but the day we made the bed, I was home and I took over the camera. Got so excited at the end of the build, or actually about halfway through the build, that I stopped filming. We started talking, laughing, joking, and then Oz went to edit the video. Nothing past the middle of the build. So, we have a start of the bed. And no finish so y'all wonder how to finish the bed well this is our opportunity to show you the bed completed and what Oz continued to build he made fun of me for two months until we finally sat down today to film the end together okay so we're gonna take apart the uh, bed so we can do some laundry and after that while the bed is disassembled I'll take some shots and explain what I did and how I did it so we can show you guys what exactly we did and how we finished this thing. But I do have to tell you it is the most comfortable bed out there. It doesn't creak, move, anything. It's perfect. It's sturdy as hell. I love this thing. Best night's sleep ever. So I built this frame and we never showed you the finish. Well it's time to show you a few things that we did in order to finish this. So the way we created the slits is pretty simple. These get removed easily as you can see. So I cut these little cubes here and I used a single screw to hold them in and as you can see they move a little bit which is by design because that way if there is movement on the bed it's not going to rip it out of position but it still holds the weight. And I added two extra screws in order to create a stopper so the board itself can't move. They can, with time, get a little bit bent, but I don't think that's a large problem. So that was about the slits. Now let's talk about the headboard. The headboard is pretty much a standard piece of OSB that we cut. And with the leftover 2x4s that we had, we cut the rest of the frame for the headboard. The way the headboard is mounted to the frame, it's pretty much with these two screws. If you remove these two screws, this one right there, and this one, the headboard will come off in one piece. So it might be a little difficult to see what we did because of the light and the angles, but this is pretty much what we did. This is our plywood. Sorry, it's not OSB, it's actually plywood. And we took leftover 2x4s, mounted them just like that, Create a frame and install it on top, just like that. Now, the way we mounted this, what we did with this is pretty much we used a foam bed topper in order to give it the padding it has. And as you can see, we put it where the spikes go towards the wood so we won't feel them and it's nice and smooth. We used a sheet that was torn and we pretty much cut it and installed it on top 
and it's holding pretty well. So we actually tried to use an electric staple gun to do it and it didn't work very well. The bottom here is not mounted very well and we found it was very difficult to put the staples in. So for the top what we did is something completely different. I actually took a piece of wood. This is a one by two. As you can see, I put the bedding underneath and I just went in with a screw and mounted it that way. It seemed to work the best. There you have it, that's our bed video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy that one over there. So go check it out and I'll see you on the next one.